Hello, welcome back. Uh, we're going to build a bowling ball cannon. So uh, I'm going to try to walk you through the process. First time for me. Blah, 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 did you? I have obtained some uh, used inert gas tanks. Very important that you don't use acetylene tanks. And it's very important that you get them that say this number on them. They'll either say DOTAA2400, possibly another zero behind it, but usually just zero, zero. These are the only tanks that will fit a bowling ball. Your average oxygen acetylene tanks are too small in diameter. Learned that the hard way. Made a nice bell for the wife. But I've measured uh, a six inch diameter uh, spot. This is where we're going to weld the breech for the canyon for the cannon. Uh, it's exactly six inches across. Getting ready to work on the breach. In order to get this big six inch slug to chuck up in my lathe, I uh, took a piece of uh, well casing that just had a six inch diameter and I tack welded it in place just uh, so we can get the job done. And then uh, when we're done, I'll cut the tacks and use it on the next. Cut the, the two inch bar stock to uh, 12 inches and then we'll machine out six inches in the center so that we can put the breech into it and weld the breech to it. Use the mill, cut out uh, piece of that two inch. Going to position on the back side of the breech and weld it into place. Hi. Uh, as you can see by the mask on my head, uh, I've been painting. I got a little eager and didn't film a couple steps in the process, so let me catch you up on what I did. I got the uh, breech welded to the tube. Uh, 
there's actually three layers of weld here. Uh, did one weld penetrating, another overlapping weld, and another overlapping weld. It's uh, it's probably a little overkill, but it's a bowling ball cannon. It's probably a good idea. I just took a uh, piece of one inch band put it down at the base. Didn't really need it, but I um, think it's kind of aesthetically pleasing. Gives a kind of an end or a finish to it. And then I just finished painting it. It's a little wet with Rust-Oleum barbecue paint. This stuff is awesome. It's cheap too. This can used it on three different projects, three big projects, and uh, I think I'll be using the last of it on this one. I rec highly recommend it. And Rolstolium, if you're listening, I'll take some money. <laughs>